It is the end of an era for a children's show that so many have long enjoyed, whether growing up or showing it to their own children. Its key message is one that can resonate with us all. Believe in yourself. Our Gio Benita has got a chance to sit down with the man behind the popular show, Arthur, as it ends its run after 25 years. It's been said, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Hard work ears like Arthur. I think of kids as my boss. I remember being six years old and watching my dad go to work on the railroad, and he hated his job. And it made such an impression on me. I, and I said to myself, at six, I want a job that I love. And if I could share a piece of advice with kids, it would be find something that you love to do and make that your job. For children's author Mark Brown, it's the end of an era. After 25 years, four Emmys, and a Peabody, there will be no more new episodes of the longest-running kids' animated series in history, Arthur. The popular PBS children's television show follows an eight-year-old aardvark navigating through life's biggest lessons with his friends teaching empathy and inclusion. It's featured guests like Yo-Yo Ma and Michelle Kwan. Lace them up. How did you come up with Arthur? My son was three years old, Tolan, and he asked for a bedtime story. And I realized that the story was about an aardvark who was unhappy with his nose. So Arthur was born that night. Brown, a kid from Erie, Pennsylvania, used memories from his childhood to come up with Arthur, incorporating his own family members into the story, like his three sisters, who he combined into one girl to become Arthur's spunky sister, D.W. The stick from the park where you promised to take me today! Are you Arthur? Don't you anything. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a picture of me in third grade next to a picture of Arthur in third grade. There is a similarity. A newscaster asked a great question um, several years ago in Chicago. She said, could you describe Arthur in just a few words? And I said, okay, he's an eight-year-old aardvark who is navigating the mud puddles of life. And he doesn't always do it really well, but what eight-year-old does? Over the past 45 years, Arthur has gone through many changes. The little series going from selling 5 million books to a whopping 70 million. The show being a large part of Arthur's success, spawning many popular memes, with celebrities like Christy Teigen and John Legend getting in on the fun. Arthur! Who's Arthur? <laughs> It's a show that's touched many generations, dealing with difficult issues like bullying, body shaming, and even death. Brown never strayed away from giving what he felt children need most, the truth, revealing in 2019 that Arthur's third grade teacher is gay in the episode, Mr. Ratburn and the Special Someone. Who's getting married? Heck. Me. Although the response was overwhelmingly positive, Alabama Public Television refused to broadcast it. You know, art should reflect life, and there's no reason why we have to marginalize or not represent all of us. We're all in this big, wonderful mess together. Brown spent the past year writing one last book to go along with the show's end, titling it Believe in Yourself, after the show's famous theme song and most important lesson. It's a bittersweet end for his son Tolan, the inspiration behind Arthur, who he considers to be somewhat of a sibling. I mean, it was, it was born out of um, personal stories, and then it kind of started to evolve as the characters, um, you know, grew into themselves. Authenticity was always the, the focus. It had to be a, a story that rang true. Being a child is not easy. You are navigating this world, and you're not ready for these things that come to you. And maybe that's where Arthur comes in. You know, I had a wonderful friend in Fred Rogers who taught us all so much about how we could use television to be helpful to kids. And he said, you know, Mark, 
every child needs just one person in their life to believe in them to make it. My name is Christopher Warte, and I'm a second grade teacher here at Sanderson Walpack Elementary School. Chris grew up on Earth. He's now 34 and shares his love for the books with his second grade class. I think the biggest thing that I learned from Arthur growing up is understanding or realizing that other people have the same questions and are going through the same things in their life that I am, that I'm not alone. When I visit schools, I think about teachers and how probably so often they are that one person in a child's life who sees that potential and encourages them. And so I, I think of teachers as my heroes, and I, I think we don't give them the credit that they're due so often. What about the books? Will the books keep going? And when I wrote Believe in Yourself, I thought, OK, this could be it. It's probably the closest I'll come to a memoir, because I got to write about my life growing up and what it's like to do books and television and share that with the reader. Um, but I guess I shouldn't close the door completely. We hope not. Navigating the mud puddles of life, something that many of us have in common with Arthur. Our thanks to Gio for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.